वेलकम टू उशेन्द्रास इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स इट्स समथिंग अबाउट अ स्ट्रेन गेज इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ इट्स कम्स अंडर द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पैसिव ट्रांसड्यूसर इन द कोर्स मेजरमेंट्स एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इफ वट आर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ अ स्ट्रेन गेज एंड एन इंपॉर्टेंट डेरिवेशन रिलेटेड टू द स्ट्रेन गेज इट्स अबाउट अ गेज फैक्टर गेज फैक्टर इज डिनोटेड एज अ गेज फैक्टर डिनोटेड विद द आल्फाबेट अपर केस आल्फाबेट के एंड डिफाइंड एज the definition for a gauge factor a fractional change in resistance r upon a fractional change in length so what is this a fractional change in resistance gauge factor this one way what is that resistance what is this length a fractional change in resistance of the material due to fractional change in the length of the material so what do i mean by that for example considering this to be a metal wire let it be a metal wire which um, for to understand if what is that when the metal wire is pulled in this direction what happens is there will be a change in resistance sorry there will be a change in the length of this one and correspondingly there will be change in the cross sectional area in the sense there will be a increase in the length which decreases the cross sectional area right once again i repeat if the if there if the metal wire is pulled in this direction there will be a change in the length of this metal wire and the corresponding action decreases the cross sectional area of the metal wire in the sense uh, there will be a decrease in the diameter of the metal wire cross sectional area diameter so that's it what did i say a fractional change in we have uh, from this discussion we have another important uh, ratio an important um, equation a fractional change in a uh, fractional change in the diameter due to a fractional change in the length of the wire which we are talking about it's it's a poisson's equation this ratio is known as poisson's equation ratio and denoted with the greek word mu it's denoted with mu please make a note it's denoted with mu and from this very expression we can uh, have a small modification over here del d upon d will be equal to mu into del l by l uh, important relationship which we need to plug in in the derivation which we are in search of a poisson's equation and uh, where you might have seen in your previous grades what you have a expression for resistance of a metal wire uh, recollect that please recollect that it's a resistance r is given as rho l upon a the resistance of a metal wire is directly proportional to the length of the metal wire and inversely proportional to the cross sectional area but what is this rho specific resistance of the metal wire metal right the wire will be made up of any metal and uh, that will be the specific like uh, this will be the specific resistance of the metal wire which is given in terms of uh, ohm meter this will be in meters and this will be in meter square this meter this meter square this meter square and this gets cancelled and we are left with ohm yeah we are talking about the resistance right so resistance will be ohm so this is the expression for the resistance of a metal wire this is the expression for the poisson's ratio and uh, definition for a gauge factor which we are in search of and this one resistance of a metal wire which you have seen in your previous grades the resistance of the metal wire is directly proportional to the length of the wire and inversely proportional to the cross sectional area and it's a cross sectional area a small modification over here resistance r will be equal to rho l as it is a is the area pi r square pi r square and still we can go for a small modification over here rho the length l as it is pi by 4 d square confused r is substituted with the diameter this r area this r is the radius of the area it's a circular like this one it's a circular like this one so um, pi r square for the area radius is half of the diameter so diameter d by 2 and this is the expression for r an important expression for resistance r to be plugged in in some other expressions on the other hand when the metal wire is subjected to strain 
the uh, the metal wire undergoes a change in resistance right so that can be written as here this is how we write rs will be equal to the initial resistance plus a fractional change in resistance subjected to strain the resistance of the metal wire when subjected to strain is given as the initial resistance plus change in resistance uh, even this is important we need to plug in all these expressions over here to obtain the final expression for the gauge factor right and getting back to this one once again i repeat if there is a change in length of the metal wire there will be a change in the cross sectional area also increase in this one will decrease the cross sectional area increase i repeat increase in the length decreases the cross sectional area getting back to over here r recollecting this expression r equal to equal to rho as it is when there is a increase in the length in the sense l plus del l indicating the increase in the length and uh, pi by 4 as it is d minus del d minus del d whole square indicating the decrease in the diameter and uh, it's subjected to strain so this will be rs r rs once we do this action it is the resistance and there is a change in the resistance and that is denoted with the strain like rs now this will be r rs going ahead rs will be equal to rho as it is nothing to do with that and uh, l plus del l also as it is in the numerator pi by 4 as it is it's a a minus b whole square a minus b whole square how to how to expand that it's a d square minus 2 into d into del d plus del d whole square subjecting for a minus b whole square and uh, del d is a very small fractional change in diameter it's a very small del d is small del d square will be even more small so we we can neglect this del d square over here right del d is small a very small fractional change in diameter and del d is small so del d square will be even more small del d square can be neglected in that case so going ahead rs will be equal to what uh, the transition takes is rs will be equal to rho as it is guys we can take out l as common from taking out l as common from that will be taking out l as common from both the terms we will be left with 1 plus del l upon l which will be more meaningful in our derivation upon pi by 4 as it is taking out d square as common from d square as common from the left over d square which gives us more it's a d square which gives us more meaning so we are left with 1 minus 2 if one of the d comes out it's del d upon d now we are neglecting this one and this is the final one right and uh, still going ahead this will be equal to rho l into 1 plus del l by l by pi by 4 d square as it is 1 minus guys uh, del d upon d can be substituted with this one here it's it will be mu into del l upon l from the poisons ratio is it correct of course yeah we are right yeah and rationalizing this one what about two yeah we are we cannot uh, this is for del d by d so we have that two we have that two i'm not erasing that two right and uh, rationalizing this one this expression what we have is rationalizing this one with this term we have 1 plus 2 mu del l by l into the same 1 plus 2 mu del l upon l so this is how we rationalizing simplifying for the expression rs going ahead what we have is rs will be equal to what is that in the denominator pi by 4 into d square as it is nothing to do with this it's a a minus b into a plus b so it will be reduced to 
वन माइनस फोर टाइम्स म्यू स्क्वायर डेल एल बाय एल होल स्क्वायर ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर ए माइनस बी इंटू ए प्लस बी ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर सो दिस विल बी द एक्सप्रेशन इन द डिनोमिनेटर कमिंग गोइंग बैक टू द न्यूमरेटर इट्स रो एल रो एल एज इट इज एंड मल्टीप्लाइंग दैट वन सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस फॉर दिस वन इन टू ओल वन प्लस टू म्यू डेल एल बाय एल प्लस फॉर दिस वन दिस इन टू दिस वी हैव डेल एल बाय एल प्लस टू टाइम्स टू टाइम्स म्यू इन टू डेल एल बाय एल होल स्क्वायर डेल एल बाय एल होल स्क्वायर इट्स अ स्क्वायर डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज्ड इट्स अ स्क्वायर राइट एंड डेल एल बाय एल इज अ वेरी लिटिल अमाउंट It's a very fractional change in length of the metal wire. A very small amount by a small amount. So if del L by L is small, del L by L square will be even more small, and that higher orders can be neglected, like this one. This can be neglected, right? And even this can be. Even this mu square, the Poisson's equation is very small. Multiplying with this one, this is small. This is small. So multiplying, even this gets cancelled because very when compared to unity, it's very small. right only so this is the change over here neglecting that one rs will be equal to will be equal to into this as it is okay so into this as it is rho l into this rho l by pi by 4 d square and we are left with into 1 as it is into 1 it's it's as it is pi by 4 d square in the denominator into 1 plus 2 mu del l by l plus del l by l right moving ahead something else can be rho l upon pi by 4 d square as it is and a small change over here 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 mu into del l by l what did i do i took out uh, i picked out del l by l as common from this one so from here it's one and from here del l by l comes out and we are left with 2 mu that is that's what this is the expression for rs rs will be equal to this into this in the sense uh, rho l by pi by 4 d square into 1 plus rho L by pi by four d square into one plus two mu into del L by L. Now this is a simplification for this expression. And can you see the other hand? What is this? Rho L by pi by four d square. What is this? Come here. It's R. Here expression for R is. This will take the form. Rho L upon pi by 4 d square will be this R from the beginning, which we have kept aside. This is this will be R. So this will be R. Okay. So R S. Now what will be this then? From here itself, R S is equal to if this is R, R is R. So this will be R del R. This will be R del R. This expression. Now this will be our del R in this expression. Right. This is R R. From here, so obviously this should be del R. Now this del R is plugged in for gauge factor over here, and that will give us the final expression for the gauge factor in terms of Poisson's ratio mu. What is this mu here? From the definition of a change in fractional a fractional change in diameter due to a fractional change in length, that which gave us our Poisson's equation mu. the main objective of this discussion is to evaluate the expression for the gauge factor of a strain gauge which is given by this we need to have we need to plug in the values of del r r and then the final expression for the k comes out k is given as k will be equal to guys here the ratio del r upon r in the numerator we have del r which is this so it's a in the numerator of the numerator of the entire expression it's a what is that In the numerator, it's a rho l by 
पाई बाई फोर डी स्क्वायर इंटू वन प्लस टू म्यू इन द ब्रैकेट्स इंटू मल्टीप्लाइड विथ डेल एल बाई एल इन द न्यूमोरेटर ऑफ द न्यूमोरेटर डिवाइडेड बाई आर दिस इज आर आर फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग विच वी हैव स्टिक टू इट्स इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव रो एल बाई पाई बाई फोर डी स्क्वायर इन द डिनोमिनेटर डिवाइडेड बाई डेल एल अपॉन एल हियर फ्रॉम द डेफिनेशन द गेज फैक्टर डेल एल अपॉन एल सो ए केयरफुल वॉच आई गेस दिस टर्म दिस वन दिस इन द दिस एंड दिस गेट्स कैंसिल वी डोंट हैव दैट एनी मोर वी डोंट हैव दैट एनी मोर इवन दिस गेट्स कैंसिल हियर दिस डेल एल एंड दिस डेल एल गेट्स कैंसिल हियर एंड वी आर फाइनली लेफ्ट विथ वन प्लस टू इट्स टू म्यू which is equal to k the gauge factor k that's my final expression for the gauge factor k in terms of the poisson's equation mu right hope you understand this one if you find this useful if you find this worthful please support me with your valuable subscription and valuable share help me to reach more students